Ohio. It's Rage from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. Now, this will be for the last half of April 2023. If you've seen my readings, welcome back. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. Um, just remember, though, it's a general read. It's not going to suit everyone, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Remember, time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa as well. All right, Capricorn, what's going on with you? Last half of April. Ooh, empowerment. Maybe realizing that you are beautiful. Um, I feel like you've had a lot of self-worth issues. Maybe you've always felt like you didn't look the way you wanted or something like that. Um, you're letting go or needing to let go of something. Um, there's some, Yeah, there's something you need to free yourself from. Maybe that is realizing um, that, you know, the right people, right person will see you for, you know, the amazing person you are. Um, in the end, if you let this go, like, you know, it will help you be more happier. Be like, we don't have to worry about, you know, someone not loving us for us or our friends not loving us for us or our family not loving us for us. It doesn't matter whether you're a size eight or a size 16 you know the right person will love you for you and you could be bigger than that smaller than that I don't, you know i don't care i'm sure your person doesn't care they love you for you and that's what's important um i feel like though there's something this is from the past is what i just got Something from the past is making you feel this way. It could have been like an unhappy relationship and somebody just wanted to For some of you it may also be it not be about self-love but maybe that's important because that's in reverse but for some of you also you're you're needing to free yourself from a situation where I feel like you're not happy I feel like you're you could be living with this person or married or whatever a high level of commitment and I feel like you need to take back your empowerment because your happiness is most important so for some of you I just feel like you're needing to free yourself from a situation like if you're living somewhere with somebody and it's miserable and you're not that happy, time to go. Tell me more. Yeah, like I feel like some of you, maybe you need to start dating someone new. You know, maybe it's all about whining and dining and... Maybe for some of you, you need to work on your current relationship and maybe work on the romance. Maybe there's things, because the moon's there. Maybe there are things that makes this situation very uncertain. Trust your intuition is what I want to say. Um... For some of you, this might even be about friends or friendships. Um, beauty queen. For some of you, it is about self-love, though. Um, it's going to be different for different people. As I said, I can't do one reading to suit every single Capricorn out there. But I feel like you're... Maybe you just didn't really want to free yourself. I mean, as I said, different storylines. But for some of you, you didn't want to free yourself from or don't want to free yourself from a situation that's not making you happy anymore um, and you needing to take back your power because you don't want to be there anymore, right? And for others, it's more about you need to realize your own 
beauty, your own inner beauty, like, yeah. Because in the end, it's about you loving you. And I feel like you're a strong person. Self-love, exactly what I said. Once you love yourself, you will, like attracts like, you will meet somebody your current relationship, I mean, if that's where you want to stay, I feel like once you start loving yourself, you might find yourself not attracted to this person anymore. But if they don't see your self-worth, if they don't see your value. Yeah, for some of you, you're feeling like you're not enough. Really understand the photo for that but anyway um you're realizing or you're feeling like you're not enough in a situation and for some of you you may self-sabotage because you're frustrated about your own issues um and also this is about you know you lacking confidence and as i said you needing to take back your own power because once you do once you realize your own worth love is coming you will be struck by love um for some of you you may not even be in any kind of relationship but you're not where you want to be in life and you want to be happy i feel really worn out i'm going to say that i feel really tired the whatever's happened in the past, you need to put up boundaries and I feel like there's definitely a death to something. Um, maybe the engagement didn't work or you never progressed to that kind of, you know, like a different level. Maybe you never progressed to that. Um, but I feel like the ultimate is your happiness and you realising your self-worth. Because once you do love is love is coming yep someone's going to call you and express how they feel look you're mirroring each other your person is mirroring you so they're probably in the same place deal with those inner wounds do some self-reflection I feel like your past, if you haven't been happy or you haven't, you know, got relationships that have worked or whatever, it probably comes back to that. You don't love yourself. Look. Oops. Divine Masculine. As I said, this love call is coming from somebody. They will see your self-worth, but you need to do some healing first. Maybe chakra work. Anything else? Give me one second. Yeah, look, mirroring again. You're definitely mirroring each other. Like the same cards keep coming out. You're not paying attention to your intuition, to signs though. You need to get rid of whatever is not for your highest good. Purge, whether it's purging people, whether it's purging your own negative thoughts about yourself, your own hatred of yourself purge whatever it is that is not for you all right let's get some tarot tell me more about capricorn
Yeah, you haven't yet dealt with the past, um, but you are moving on. You're getting hope again, you're forgiving yourself. You might have had these like kind of concrete ideas about what you wanted, you know, um, what you expected a person to be, uh, just feel like whatever this was that you, this idea that you had. That's not what you're getting. You've been attracting people who um, I feel like they're very, you know, deceptive or um, they cause, you know, they trigger you that something they, they have some sort of illusions. And I feel like you're you're making a fast paced change because I feel like you realize that also the illusion could be that you have insecurities. Like you have this illusion about yourself. You need to make some changes because I feel like there is communication coming. But let go of all these kind of ideas that you have about what you want for your life because I feel like you all, it will always be replaced with something better. And maybe while you're in this kind of negative space of feeling like not loving yourself enough or not dealing with something, you know, doing the healing, that kind of thing. I just think there's going to be something better. All right, let me find out. Tell me about the moon. Yeah, you're needing to do some healing with the Four of Swords. And I feel like you need to do that because you know, you don't feel good about yourself. And if somebody's being deceptive or whatever to you I also feel like you need to do healing from that um, tell me about the page of Pentacles in reverse why is the page of Pentacles here yeah you had your heart broken And I feel like this situation was probably filled with conflict. Um, whatever you went through, it was part of your spiritual path that you had to go through. Um, you know, you had very high expectations is what I want to say. Hmm. All right, tell me about the Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're moving on, as I said. There's, um, I guess, look at this situation like I want to say missed opportunity. I feel exhausted. I can't believe how exhausted I feel. Um, yeah, you, you know, I feel like definitely you need to do some um, healing work. Definitely do some um, introspection, soul searching, that kind of thing. Now, why is the two of pentacles here? Ace of swords. Somebody may have had multiple choices. Um, I 
anymore. Yeah, this person was not your person. I don't feel like you wanted to walk away though because you feared the unknown. But look, you are completing the lesson. You are completing the cycle. You just need to get out of your own way. You know, you need to stop feeling like you've got no other options or, you know, feeling like you've got limited options um, because I feel like that's not true. And that probably, once again, though, comes back to your own self-worth your own self-love, you know, like, if we feel like crap, we attract that. Let me quickly ask. I'm trying to do short readings, and all the others have been about 11 minutes. I just saw 1616, angel number 1616. Google that. Tell me more. Ace of Keys, you've got an opportunity coming in be aware as i said somebody is very sneaky somebody may want to reconcile but just remember they are sneaky and that could be because you're married to this person or in a high level of commitment like high level of commitment um somebody look two of choices what did i say somebody has choices Hmm. Yeah, I just feel like be very careful because this person may even be married for some of you. <laughs> it's funny. I said I feel really tired, really exhausted. Yep. All right, that is what I have. Um... I hope that resonates, Capricorn, and I'll catch you with the next read. Thanks for watching. Bye.